What's up everybody? I wanted to make this video to discuss the top five foundations that I think are the best foundations in air for this next set, Crim Crimson Rampage. Uh, I'm very interested in your opinion about this list, guys. Uh, I'm just using basically the most, uh, the least niche cards, the cards that are the most generalized, the ones that can be used in most decks the most. And I noticed something while I, <clears throat> while I was looking at these foundations. A lot of them are huge blockers, like they're really bad blockers. Uh, first impressions uh, is plus three low here, going out to fight some villains, plus four low uh, high. I mean, that's crazy. That's so much. Small and limber is plus two, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus two, plus two. Not a single one of these foundations plus one on their blocking modifier. So be careful, all of the second set air cards are going to be huge blockers, so that's going to be an issue. But anyways, we're going to talk about the best cards, so let's just jump in. To be honest guys, in immediately, uh, I, I really like first impressions. Uh, flip, this, if this is your first attack, this combat phase gets plus 3 damage. If it's blocked, your next attack gets plus 3 speed. If your first attack is a throw, or if it's something that's really high speed, uh, like float combo, for example, uh, it just gets plus three damage. It's gonna be hard to block, or the opponent is forced to block it. Um, if you have stun on your first attack and you give it the, the plus three damage, uh, the, the opponent is forced to block this attack. If you can add a little bit of speed on that attack uh, using, um, there's a lot that you could use. You could use rescue completed, and you could use. Um, there's a, there's a lot you could use to add speed um, to certain attacks and there's some characters that can add speed as well so if you could just give it a little bit of push for the first attack your second attack is almost guaranteed to get plus three speed because nobody wants to take this huge attack this plus three damage attack uh, and so this is almost a guaranteed uh, manipulation of the opponent you can manipulate him into doing what you want him to do so he's basically going is forced to block the first attack if the first attack is a throw he's still first forced to block it uh if if he doesn't block it um that doesn't really change anything for you get plus three damage if he does block it your next attack is even stronger faster it's not stronger but it's much faster uh, the only bad thing about this card is the plus three low uh, on the modifier i mean i don't know why these modifying block modifiers are so bad um Anyways, we move on. Uh, we're actually gonna go immediately right underneath, uh, underneath it, going out to fight some villains. This is actually a really good card, not because of its first enhance, which is a good enhance, so we can use it anyways. <coughs> it's actually really good for its second enhance. Uh, I love having slowers, uh, basically speed reducers. Uh, I think Universal's kids call it speed hate. I love having speed hate in my decks. And this is a speed hate. Flip of this attack speed is greater than its printed speed. This attack gets minus three speed immediately. Awesome. I love that. I love that. Uh, you get minus three speed with specialist of sound, and then minus three speed again if he if he gives it anything. Uh, if he like comes back with stronger, maybe you don't even have to reduce the speed on this attack. You just wait for him to push a little bit of uh, speed, and then you gain minus three. Uh, it's it's a really good uh, ability. It's a flip. That means you can still commit it. So I, I really like that. Uh, yeah, but you can only use it once per turn, basically. Uh, once per per foundation. But I really, really, really like it. And uh, yeah, we can't use this first ability, but the second ability is pretty strong. Those I just love speed reducers. That's why I, I, I like these cards. But yeah, I'm very interested in your opinion, guys. I think this is top two from the set. It is a huge block modifier. It's a plus four. That's huge, but uh, still, guys, I really like it. Let me move my camera a little bit so you guys can see this. But yeah, I, I really like this still, even though it's so big. Uh, but yeah, um, that's it for me. This is uh, number two. Uh, moving on, number three, we move on a lot. Uh, guys, you're going to notice we actually have a lot of ally cards in this air. We have training with gunheads and ally. Uh, this card that I was telling you guys about was an ally card and we got a couple extra ally cards here Do we have any one, one more fusion is an ally? So we actually get a lot of allies So this will work really well with resting between bouts 
Uh, but I really like this for its second ability. Rival's turn, destroy, add one ally card from your card pool to your hand. That means if you have a five-hander, for example, which I don't think any air is a five-hander. So let's assume we have a six-hander. You kind of overextended last turn. Uh, you only have one really card to block with. Uh, fusion, it's a mid-block, so you can block any attack. You also have wall cling. Uh, so blocking with fusion with, with this card is not going to really hurt you. Uh, because you basically block any attack, it's a low modifier compared to everything else uh, that we have in this set uh, that's air, and so it makes sense uh, to just have this in the in the card in the stage where fusion can come out and then comes back into your hand uh, because you destroyed this foundation and then you get to block with it one more time. Uh, if you overextend, this card can fix that for you. Also, it has another res ability, it's a response. You commit it after you make a check to play a foundation. That check gets plus two. Uh, let's say it's the end of your third turn or your fourth turn. You just want to build one or two foundations. Uh, you checked really bad. Maybe you had a rescue completed, uh, a three on a plus two. Uh, so that's a five check and you check the three. You don't, you don't really want to commit any extra foundation. You just have to commit one foundation instead of the two. And that's amazing. So even though it only works with foundations, usually we end the turn playing a foundation. So this is awesome. It, it like makes it very safe to play foundations. So even if you're not running any ally cards, I would still run a four of this card in my deck just because of the check plus two. It's just very, uh, maybe not four of, maybe I'd run two of, maximum three, still really helpful. And also, I think it's very helpful in its other symbols as well. In Chaos and Evil, I think they struggle a lot with uh, uh, the checks. And so this can actually fix their checks very well. So I'm very interested in your opinion, guys. Leave them down below. Do you believe this card belongs in this list? Moving on, we'll just jump to Travel by Tape. I really like this card. It's a slow modifier, a high attack. It's one of the only high blockers we, we get. We only get three blo extra blockers, high blockers in the set for Foundations. So I really like this card. Uh, flip, after you block an attack, discard your block from the card pool. So if it's in your foundations, allows you to extend your blocks. Uh, allows you to block easier uh, than usual. And if you're checking good, uh, basically you didn't tap any cards, you don't have anything in the card pool. Some, some of your opponent's cards actually activate because you have cards in the card pool. Especially like the new Mina. Uh, and Min Mineta and there's a lot of card uh, characters that really want you to have cards in the card pool uh, And there's a lot of attacks that want you to have cards in the card pool. So the more you block the stronger they get like uh, Is it amphibious ambush or no what was the other one tongue tongue smack? No, it's not I think it was, no not tongue smack. There's another <clears throat> tongue ability. It's a low four for four uh, Basically what it does is it builds the one of the discard pile into your card into your card pool and then gets plus one damage for each card in the card pool so it makes sense to if you have a if you're blocking a lot that card can be doing a lot of damage so this uh, if you this just lets you be safe while blocking once you block a card if you're not going to build it if you don't have many passion guy or anything and it, it just sits there so it's really not a bad idea to get rid of it also it does have a great enhance if you know for example your opponent that cannot block a low block uh, and you can end the game with that, right? Remove, change the zone of your rival's attack. Sorry, actually, this is only for your rival's attack. So it allows you to control the rival uh, in case he's doing too much work. Uh, maybe he's still a Sero. Sero maybe is very viable next set. Uh, and uh, change the zone of the rival's attack. So it allows you to uh, be able to completely block certain attacks. And like we said earlier, with the resting between bouts, where you can block with fusion, add this to your hand, Add the ally card to your hand, and then uh, if he attacks again with a random zone that you can't block, uh, let's say you, you flip wall cling, you block with fusion, you get it back, now he's using a, a low block, you can still get a full block out uh, with travel by tape, you just have to remove it and change the zone of the attack, it's so great, I, I really like this card, uh, gives you a lot of control of the opponent. And uh, lets you manipulate your own card pool, which we don't get a lot of. Uh, and some of the cards, some foundation actually activate when you remove cards from the card pool. So this activates that for us. All right, moving on, guys. The last card here, top five fusion. I really like this card uh, for its second ability. Enhance commit your rival's attack. It's minus two speed. 
obviously you guys know why I like this. By the way, let's just say one thing. Travel by tape is a 4 check, so that sucks. <clears throat> so you might just run 2 off. But Fusion, I think Fusion is a 4 off. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think Fusion is a 4 off. It's really, really, really nice. It's like a, a better heroic lineage. Um, enhance, commit your rival's attack, it's minus 2. Or commit your kick or EX attack, it's plus 2. Insane. I mean, what else? I mean, it's a free plus two for free minus two for a commit. I mean, this is great, great, great card. Um, yeah, uh, there's nothing really to say about this. Great block modifier, a great check, great difficulty, great card, great card. Also has an ally just in case some you need allies to activate. Oh, I mean, this card is insane. It's so good. Anyways, guys, that's my list. I'm very interested to know what you guys think of this list. Uh, leave your ideas down in the comment section below and uh, just to end this uh, video let's talk about aiming for one number one response commit what is this is that a first enhanced response is that what it is universes the red symbol after your rival adds an, any number of cards to their hand due to their non-character effect they discard one card um, commit after your rival adds any number of cards to their hand due to their non-character effect they discard one card that's great there's a lot it's basically a desperate times but instead of controlling his field your stage you're controlling his hand but they but they get to choose the card they discard so they're probably going to discard the foundation remove after your rival adds any number of cards to their hand due to their non-character effect you draw two cards so you can either control the opponent or you can gain yourself every time the opponent draws i really like this card i mean it's uh, definitely an insane card it's a great block modifier i really believe this card is going to be in a lot of decks it is an ultra rare so it's going to be a little hard to find but i really do believe this is going to be in a lot of decks aiming for number one anyways i will end the video here guys thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time